the idea of having an exhibition in a public space is very new to this cycle. Usually we always had the exhibitions which were in closed um, you know, exhibition spaces to attract, it was more for architects and uh, specialized people. This time we had this chance to be in London in public space. This way we're not addressing only the people who are interested in architecture, but it just comes to everyday people just pass by. And just having th th this idea of having thousands of people passing every day, and by accident they see architecture projects, it's very important. What is important is the range of the projects. Uh, the public will see that architecture is not only about a building. I mean, there can be um, high rises, it can be restoration projects, it can be small schools, it can be different parts of the world, it can be uh, uh, environmental uh, restoration, conservation. So that is how you expand the field of architecture. This is happening during the London Architecture Festival. So people do uh, are more interested in architecture, becomes a theme of the month. Uh, so as I said again, this is something which goes both to architects and non-architects and people from around the world because these are from countries from Cap Verde to Indonesia, Morocco, uh, Iran, all the different countries that have got projects. And what is interesting is for people to follow up, see which one out of these 20 will really deserve the $1 million uh, award for architecture. I do invite people who are traveling and coming to London for a few days, or the ones who are, or Londonians, or the people working here, to look at these projects, come and see this exhibition which expands from King's Cross to Granary Square and see the variety of the projects. It's interesting, I'll assure you.